Well, this came round a lot quicker than I expected it to. One year ago, today, I posted my first Platinum Trophy related video with Spyro the Dragon from the Reignited Trilogy. And my god, was it bad. This is one more thing. That's all the brains are done. Get in, come on! Oh. Don't ever want to do that again. Since then, I've not really looked back, and to be honest, I never really had a specific goal in mind when I first started. I just wanted to do something that I enjoyed, my hobby, which was play computer games. And also, use that as a way to use my brain a little bit with the creativity side of things. And the reason why I mention the creativity side of things is because TLDR, 12 years ago, I had a brain injury. I hit my head really bad. I drove from the Midlands to London and then back again for my delivery driving job and I suffered a stroke, which affected my speech, my long-term memory, my short-term memory, amongst a whole other host of things. And ever since that top moment, I've tried to keep the brain active. My doctors even told me that playing computer games would help me massively. And to be honest, that was kind of the moment that I, like I was already a gamer, but then I became a gamer. Um, so yeah, but this is a celebration video. This is my one year anniversary on, on YouTube. So enough with the morbid shit. Let's get back to the original point. So yeah, over the last 12 months, I've had a lot of highs and a few lows on YouTube. I never set out expecting brilliance or greatness. I'm my biggest critic. And sometimes I look at my older videos with Spyro being the best example I can give. And I think, oh my God, that is utter trash. I need to get better. And no matter how good I get in the future, I will never be satisfied. I will always aim for something more, something better. So yeah, so in this video, we're going to be going over some of the lows, some of the highs, and at the end, I'll even throw in like, you know, what's what's likely to be coming in the future, as I want to push the channel forward, get a little bit more creative with my thinking, and, and so on and so forth. So between July 28th to... So between July the 28th, 2023, and July the 28th, 2024, I uploaded a total of 33 videos. And originally, I thought that that was a pretty shocking amount of videos. Like, I thought I, I was terrible, that I should have done a lot more. But having thought about it with a little bit more depth, you know, considering that I'm a father to a very boisterous two-year-old, I mean, like, I love him to bits. I will do anything for him and give him anything he wants. He's a little bit of an arsehole. Uh, I work a 40-hour week at work. And... Playing games with all the editing obviously takes time. So 33, all things considered, isn't that bad. But the next year on YouTube, I am going to aim for potentially more. Or if I do have less, then I want them to be a lot better quality, to put it bluntly. So from those 33 videos, I would put them into four different categories. And from of those four categories, I had 21 platinum videos, six trophy list reviews, five game list videos and one personal ranking video. Now admittingly, when I first started, there was only one type of video in my mind and that was play a game, earn a trophy and bang it on, a platinum video. The longer I was on YouTube, the more that the ideas started popping up. I saw other videos by other creators and I thought, that's amazing or that's brilliant or, or even to, to be completely honest, that doesn't look like too much effort the trophy list reviews i'm not going to be the i'm not going to lie about that they are low effort but it meant that i could still upload on a semi-regular basis and to be honest that they've done actually relatively well specifically for a channel of my size so no complaints from me but this will lead us nicely into the first part that i want to speak about and that's the videos that have done really well the first one that springs to mind was my first ever list video. Now, I knew that this was going to get the views because it's the kind of thing that I would search for myself. 
you know, being a father, being a full-time worker, you know, sometimes I just don't have the time to sit down with a 100-hour game. So first thing I thought was, okay, let's do a video where I highlight some games that take less hours and they're fairly easy to platinum. And I didn't go into it, you know, just shoving a load of shovelware. I wanted actual games that require some effort, but they are still considered relatively easy. And this video, as of, as of recording, is in between 19 and 20k. Now, I never imagined ever that any video I created would ever get that, start, that level of, of viewership. It absolutely exploded. Like, I, I don't know why, but it exploded that much that on YouTube, where you can see your, your ranking videos after however long, like, you know, after your first day and you've got like one out of 10, it doesn't even show up on it. Like, that video is completely gone from the rankings, but it's my, by far, it's the highest viewed video. So that is the first video I wanna highlight. The second uh, video, uh, in truth, uh, that like you know performed amazingly, and I kind of expected it to get, garner a bit of attention, but I didn't expect it to blow up the way it did. But that one's my One Piece uh, Odyssey video. I knew that with it being One Piece, obviously people would search for One Piece, um, but I thought as soon as they saw like oh it's a platinum trophy video. Yeah, that isn't what I want. I want the anime. I want the the music from the anime. Uh, but I believe that's currently at about five, maybe six thousand views. Uh, I, I could be completely wrong. I haven't looked at it for for a while, but I think that's what it's at. Um, I'll, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But that video, absolutely like. I mean, for starters, I loved the game. I played the game. Absolutely loved it. Even though it took me a long time to get that platinum, I think it was 65 hours in total. Um, and, you know, there was that much footage that the editing took me a while. Editing wasn't the greatest in truth. Um, it was back when I was still using Sony Movie Studio 16. I was I was a bit behind the times. Um, but, like, that video just, you know, I think it's my highest viewed platinum trophy video, which is why that one... Is, is the next one I'm going to mention. And then the last one that I want to mention in this section is Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Now, what everybody knows Wolfenstein's are, are relatively difficult to platinums. The Old Blood, not as bad as like, you know, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus with the Mein Leben trophy. And maybe I'll attempt that one day, but for the time being, I just feel like that could be uh, a skill issue. Um, but that video, uh, it was the first, like, you know, should we say semi-difficult uh, platinum that I achieved. And it was the first video that I did that kind of shot up a little bit in views. Um, it hasn't got the most. I think it's currently at, like, 1,400, if I remember right. Um, but considering at the time, I had, I think I had about 100 subscribers when I uploaded it. And to have that many views on, on that video... It just blew me away, and it kind of gave me that little bit of a little bit of a kick. I think at that moment in time, I was like, you know, doing small games, uh, Spyro, Guilt, and and then like, you know, Wolfenstein, kind of blew up. I, I use that term, but I know that it didn't blow up, but I use it loosely. Um, and it kind of was like, okay, let's go, let's let's rock on with this. So that's the third one I'm going to mention in this little section. Um, but the next section, it's basically just like, you know, the videos that have got the most views within this last year. So based off of what I've just been speaking about, as you can imagine, the top viewed video is my 10 games that can be platinumed in under 10 hours with 19k. That one, of course, just blew up. Amazing. Not knocking it at all. Like... Thank you for all the love and support on that video. And, well, on every video that I've ever made. But that's my most viewed video. The second most viewed video was actually the second part to that exact same video. It was the 10 Platinums that can be earned in less than 10 hours, part two. 
and I believe that's currently at 11,000. Didn't quite hit the dizzy heights of the other video, um, even though I felt like it was probably edited a lot better. Um, but still, a channel of my size getting that many views, you know, that the, the view time on both of them was relatively decent as well. Like, you know, it wasn't every single person watched the whole video all the way through. I'm sure some of some people probably clicked the video, heard my annoying voice and turned it straight off or saw the first game that I mentioned. and was like, oh, this is rather good. And, and yeah, the rest is history. But those are the top two. And then the third one, another one I've already mentioned is the One Piece Odyssey. Uh, 5,400 views which I've just checked um, didn't expect it to to get to that level but it did and so that makes it my third highest video at the moment obviously in the future I'll be aiming to uh, surpass all of those but it's going to take some work but it's work I'm willing to put in and then we're going to go into the channel's three biggest flops to put it bluntly the videos that you know I uploaded and they just didn't get any attention at all they're sitting right down the bottom in terms of views and to be honest I can kind of see why at, at least with a couple of them with one of them I'm a little bit disappointed um, but we'll, we'll get to that uh, in a second so the one that sits right at the bottom of the list cropping everybody else up and to be honest probably rightfully so is Modern Warfare 2 now, this was the first video I, I made, and well, it's the only video I've made since, that I kind of went back to a game that I'd already got some of the trophies on. I think I'd got like 60% of the trophies, and I just needed like, you know, 10, 12, 14 more until I got the Platinum Trophy. And, and I, I highlighted that in the video. Uh, it was also the first video that I uploaded where YouTube... Uh, done the check and it had found you know copyright uh i'd stupidly included a, a little section where i've got like some dancing penguins on the screen and there was a little tune that went with it i didn't i didn't realize that the tune was actually a part of an actual song um don't ask me what the song is i just remember it being like i'm gonna celebrate or something like that um but yeah so that that had to be then removed uh, and re-uploaded and, and in the video itself I part of it was the co-op missions and I there was there was a couple of sections in it where the person I was playing with basically did most of the work like I'm terrible at stealth games and one of the sections was to be very stealthy and I absolutely sucked at it so for like six minutes it wasn't six minutes in the video i obviously cut it down to just the trophy pop but for like six minutes i just stood in a room a room that i'd stealthily cleared while he did the two other rooms um but yeah that, that's currently i think 54 views maybe less than that uh, and to be honest no qualms of course it's call of duty as well call of duty is so so big of a game every single person in the world has heard about it and i mean you put call of duty into your youtube search bar you, you're gonna you're gonna be given thousands upon thousands maybe even millions of videos and and of course at the time i didn't really know what i was doing it was one of the, one of my very early videos so that's the one that sits right at the bottom and like i said rightfully so it was it was a trash video the next one that's right down near the bottom and to be honest, this one kind of kind of shocked me in a sense. Uh, let me just pop that hair back under. Uh, kind of shocked me in a way, but at the same time it didn't because of, of what it is, basically. Um, and that's Stray. Uh, I think it's currently on 57 or 62-ish views. Um, yeah, it's got like 13 comments. Like, you know, the people who did watch it did enjoy it. Um, but all things considered you know when it was released how long after i did the video on it of course how many other people had made the same video but probably better in truth um so that one just didn't didn't crack on basically and I, I, again i can kind of see why but it did you know it did kind of 
I, I was a little bit gutted, basically. I, I thought I thought it would have done a little bit better, um, but you know, no complaints. It's down there for a reason. If I want to get better at YouTube, I need to I need to take these L's and obviously learn from it, improve and and keep going. Uh, part of the reason why I haven't deleted either of the two I've mentioned already or the next one. And that other one is guilt, which sits currently at 68 views. And and again, to be honest, I can kind of see why. It's an old game, well, oldish. Uh, I think it had been out for a few years when I decided to do it. But it was a game that had always interested me. I'd seen it, uh, I, I think it originally released on the, the uh, is it Google Stadia or the something Stadia. Uh, and it was on Steam. And then it got a release on PlayStation, uh, digital only, I believe. And uh, I, I, I played it. I really enjoyed it, just the same as the other two games that I've just, I've literally just mentioned. But it just didn't produce the the views. Um, and I was a little bit gutted because I can't like I remember thinking at the time, okay, I need to do games that nobody else has done. Like that's how I'm going to stand out. And, and to be honest, I'm still doing that. Like, I do like doing games that no one else has or, or you know, no one's heard of. But along with that, I have got to take it on the chin that they aren't going to be searched as much. And, and that's fine. Like, I will happily carry on doing that, mixing them up um, with games that everybody knows. Uh, anybody that's been a, a subscriber for a long period of time or looked through the catalogue uh, will see that I have no specific type like i've played games that nobody's heard of i've played games that everybody's heard of i've played games that are absolutely piece of cake i've played games that are absolutely piece of cake i'm still to get to the really hard ones bear with me just gonna wet my whistle a second oh that's better so the next topic i'm going to be talking about is the ones that like just disappointed me with the performance the ones that I felt like, you know, the editing was a lot more on point than previous videos. The ones that have got a little bit more to them that I felt, you know, would have got the viewership, so on and so forth. And top of that list, it's got to be uh, the five hidden games uh, that are easy to platinum part two. Part one performed relatively well. I think it got like 5,000 views, but part two, um, it hit I think it was 2,100 views, and then it just died. And I remember, I remember uploading that video full of hope. I had, I'd outdone myself in terms of editing. I'd added like improvements to the part one video, um, and like you know, I'd, I'd put a few extra bits and pieces into making that video that you know I felt like really improved the video as a whole. And now, of course, Hidden Gems isn't everybody's uh, first thought when they get onto YouTube. But I felt like there was going to be a, a viewership with, like looking for that. And of course, with the first part performing relatively well, I, I kind of assumed that the second part would either do as well or if not better. So when it died off at 2,100 views, I was a little bit gutted. Um, and yeah, it's just one of them things like yeah i'm a little bit gutted but it's a me problem i need to do better clearly uh and i'm i'm always going to try and do better to put it bluntly um but yeah that's that's the first one i, I made that video and i genuinely thought that like I, I actually thought that in terms of list videos that one was the best one by far Comparing it to every other list video I'd done, that one, by far the best one uh, across the board. Uh, but to put it bluntly, it's the worst performing one across the board. The second one in this category is going to have to go to the uh, I Platinum 5 horror themed games for Halloween. I, was, I remember thinking at the time, okay, Halloween is coming. I need to produce... A horror game or something along that, that line for it it could could be in the keyword produce something that you know really ups my viewership and looking back through my old videos 
I, I realized now or I realized back then um but it was after i'd uploaded it and it had been uploaded for like a couple of weeks or so but that video absolutely sucked ass the games in that video absolutely perfect there was a couple of hidden gems in there there was resident evil 7 but the audio that i'd cut and spliced was just atrocious there was little popping noises all over the place i don't know where they came from but they were there and yeah it, it, it deserves to be on i think it's 94 views currently it really does it was awful but again i'm not deleting anything i want these trash videos to still be there when i get so much better so i can look at them and be like wow that's where i was this is where i am persistence it pays off and then the third one in this category it's actually the third and fourth because i couldn't decide which one uh, disappointed me more in terms of how it uh, how it was viewed uh, and that is sleeping dogs uh, the definitive edition absolute classic of a game uh, a game that i'd never played before uh, so obviously i played it very late um i mean i absolutely loved the game it wasn't my style of game like you know those kind of open world go to this area do this quest then go over here and do this quest sort out this side mission that kind of thing wasn't really my type of game i always overlooked them but i remember putting um sleeping dogs on and just being wowed uh, once i got past the uh the initial crashes and stuff because it, for some reason that game just doesn't like being played on a ps5 uh, and the second one is is one of my very recent videos, and that's the Deadpool one. Um, but again, I loved the Deadpool game. I thought it was amazing. It was hilarious. It's actually the first game where, like, I've tackled the hardest difficulty of the game. And yeah, I struggled a lot, but through persistence i eventually got it and i managed to complete the game on the hardest difficulty so i was i was hyped for that and of course both of these videos could be a lot better i, I will always say this about any video that doesn't perform very well they can always be better even my best videos could be better but i didn't expect them both to be quite so low i think sleeping dogs is currently on like 97 views and Deadpool is on 194. And I uploaded Deadpool a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, with the Deadpool and Wolverine movie being uh, being released in the cinemas uh, two days ago. Um, so I, I was kind of hoping that the the hype for the film would transfer into the video, but you know, sometimes we we swing and we miss. Oh well. So now I guess it's time to talk about the future and the plans that I've got in place for relatively soon. And the first one and the one I'm most excited about is that I will begin to start streaming. I've made some arrangements, uh, I've made some changes to my games room, which means that although I may still use the green screen behind me, I won't necessarily have to use it. Also, my setup will no longer be 90 degree angle that way being my tv meaning that i will no longer have to break my neck every time i want to look at comments if if and when i do stream uh, if you have seen the first few videos that i made on the channel i actually streamed like when i first started that's how i got most of my footage uh, and it was just it was just an awful awful setup it just didn't work but with the new setup i've got in place well i will have in place streaming should be a lot easier and it will also allow me to do, do a lot more like work on more projects work on more um styles and, and and more creativity in the videos so i'm really excited about that to begin with there won't be a schedule that's basically just because at this precise moment in time i don't really know whether i'm coming or going with work i'm currently on a shift pattern that could be permanent but it also could change 
with only a week's notice. Um, I will try and get a schedule because I know that having schedules for streaming, schedules for making videos is the way forward. But at this moment in time, there will not be a schedule. But that first stream, I can't wait. And I'm hoping that some of you will, will join me. The second thing that's gonna be coming up very, very soon is more trophy list reviews. Now, that doesn't mean more trophy list reviews, less other types of video. I'm just gonna be doing more of them because to put it bluntly, my last trophy list review, which I uploaded uh, a week ago, uh, it blew up in terms of comments. C like comment to view ratio, it's the biggest one on my channel by far. I had a list that had, I think I, think I was down to four or five PSN profiles left to record and, and review. And from that video alone, my list is now 26. I do not want to be the person that with my current um, setup, basically I was doing one every three weeks, the 26th person, if I worked it out right, math is not my strong point, hit that person would have had to have waited until I think it was March 2025 before his trophy list review was done. I want to keep all my subscribers happy, every viewer happy, um, and I, I've already made the promise on YouTube through a post, I will be doing every single one of those people. Even if the trophy list reviews died completely, got no views whatsoever, I will do every single person on that list. So to make sure that everybody gets done, I will be doing them more frequently, but it will not have an effect on any of the videos going forward. And lastly, two more bits that, you know, I'm not really going to spend that much time on because they're not they're not at the they're not at the forefront of my mind to to put it bluntly. The first one not really related to this channel, but I have got a second channel. I'm not pushing it at all. Uh, I guess you could say like, oh, you're mentioning it now, so you're giving it a push. Yeah, I'll mention it. It's about my collection. I've got one video on it so far. I'm talking about the games I'd brought during the month of April. I've got another video in the works talking about the games that I've brought during May, June and July. There's a total of like, I mean, this is a rough estimate, but I think there's about 80 games that I've brought. Some of them you may never have heard of. Some of them are just like, you know, big hitters for the collection that I never owned in the first place. But that's over there. If you're into uh, collections, then perhaps check it out. It's not a, an impressive collection as such, but I'm hoping to make it an impressive collection in the future. And I've recently brought an Xbox 360 and a PS3, so I will be mixing them into it as well, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, and then the last one is the fact that I have gone past 500 subscribers. I have gone past 3,000 watch hours, which means that I can apply for YouTube Partner. I haven't as of yet, oh, sorry, tell a lie, I have, but my uh, join button is not live yet, and it probably won't be for a, a few weeks at least. That's purely because I'm working on a few bits in the background, uh, basically because if anybody's going to join my membership, give me their hard-earned cash, it will be 99 pence or however lower it goes, because I will be starting it at the very lowest point. If anybody wants to give me that to be a member, I want to be able to give back something. I want it to be worth it. You know, I'm a member of a few people's uh, channels on YouTube. And like, you know, it's either a friend who I'm supporting or somebody who, you know, really gives bang for their book kind of thing. I would not be willing to pay for a membership for somebody who I don't know. I just watch videos of them. Uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Uh, and there's no incentive to actually pay for that membership. And, and that's my thought process for you guys. Like, when it does go live, it will be because there is something there to, to, to offer. So, it is available for me to make go live 
but it's not live at the moment and that is the reason why of course in the future when i do feel like i've got more to offer and and like it will be worth having a membership anybody that that joins that becomes a member don't get me wrong you will be like put on a pedestal like every single viewer to me every single subscriber i absolutely love all your faces because you're a fucking amazing and like you you're making a hobby of mine so much more enjoyable so much more fun than i ever expected it to be so anything that comes in the future i'm gonna thank you already in advance and yeah what can i say so yeah so that that's the end of the one year anniversary video i guess and i don't know how long this video took in total i don't know if i'm going to have used clips at certain parts to make sure it lasts a certain length of time because i'd imagine looking at the clips i've already done it won't be very long otherwise um but thank you for watching hopefully you will still be around to watch my two year anniversary because why not we'll, we'll do this again next year hopefully it will be a completely different story i'll be talking about higher viewed videos uh things that disappointed me on higher viewed videos it won't be like yo oh this video's only got 40 views like it'll be like oh this video's only got 200 like that that would be brilliant that's let's, let's just say that's the goal um but yeah thank you for watching if you're new here please subscribe um leave a comment call me a dick whatever like just interact i, I love the interactions i really do thank you again and I'll see you later. Peace.